What's up, everybody? Brandon back at you with another episode of Ball Sports. Today, I'm going to go into detail about the NCAA and why it's the most corrupt league that we got. This is a reason why I don't watch it. It's a reason why a lot of people shouldn't watch it until these things change. Um, the topic today is should college athletes, should be uh, should they be paid? My answer is a definite yes. I cannot stress this enough. Um, we have a lot of instances where a guy will be good for three, four years during his college career. Or we'll say three, he's been good for three years, get an injury. Um, he's not drafted. He isn't given any type of compensation for all the money that he's brought to the colleges. Um, you know, college, big, big colleges like Alabama uh, for basketball. You got Kentucky, Kansas. For football, you got all types of big colleges that are going on. Um, and they don't allow people to profit off likeness is what they say, but they're allowed to profit off the likeness. And this is uh, one thing that I really don't understand about the colleges. Um, we'll go into detail about it, though. They should at least be given some type of insurance due to the circumstances that I just said. A guy will get injured, um, spend his whole life working towards one goal just because of one injury, a torn ACL, broken arm broken rotator, something like that. He isn't given the opportunity to go to the NFL, even though he's been a solid quarterback for three, four years. Um, they should be given some type of insurance. Uh, there, there's no there's no room for error to talk about that. Uh, they don't get paid. They pay to go to college. Um, and they, don't, they create revenue, but they don't see any of it. And uh, it's just really unfair. You think about it, a guy like Zion Williamson, who went to Duke, um, you know, he sold plenty of jerseys. He was looked at all over the place. The crowds were sold out. Just wanting to see this guy compete, um, and he wasn't paid any. Uh, they got the one-and-done rule. Um, I feel you should at least do two years in college, but these guys need to be given some type of compensation for their time. Um, we've seen this here recently with the uh, NCAA football games and NCAA basketball games. They are not allowed to make those anymore because they say the players um, – they can't profit off the likeness is what they say. Um, like I said, even though they can do that all they want, they sell the tickets, they sell the jerseys, they pay, uh, they charge people to go to college absurd amounts to people like Stanford and things like that. It'll cost you at least 40 bands a year to go over there and uh, get you a good education, which is absolutely absurd, honestly. Um, like I said, they create the revenue, but they don't see any of it, which is just crazy. The NCAA basketball games and football games are discontinued because of uh, certain situations like that. And we just had an instance uh, with this coronavirus thing going on where the Clemson quarterback started a GoFundMe account. And the NCAA shut it down because, uh, like I said, they aren't allowed to profit off the school's image or uh, anything like that, which is completely bullshit. I cannot believe that the NCAA continues to do things like this and nobody's stepping up and telling these guys, "Hey, you're 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 messing these guys' futures up." the The whole thing is just it's corrupt, and you can't say enough about it. it. The fact that they won't pay the athletes, they won't give them insurance, they charge them to go to school, um, and all you get to see is some big school in some little community or some big school in even a bigger community where they could pay for that by themselves. Um, it's it's just crazy. I cannot stress it enough. There's yeah. It, it honestly makes me mad, and I, I've lost you know things that I was gonna talk about over it. But these guys should be getting paid, or they should be given insurance, and uh, that's just the facts to it. These guys put their life on the line. They put their not necessarily their life, but their health on the line. You know, a lot of basketball players and football players uh, don't live the full lifespan that they're supposed to. You know, they take a lot of injuries throughout their career. Um, it, it's just, it blows my mind that we continue to live in this day and age where you can't pay people for creating you revenue, uh, especially in college. A lot of these guys can't work regular jobs, um, especially the college athletes. When do you have time to work a regular job? Uh, the NCAA just uh, it sits back and collects all their profit and uh, leaves the players out for dry um, it, it's, it's crazy and, uh, it's absurd that it's still going on. Um, let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. Honestly, I hope this changes soon. We live in a different day and age, 
where a lot of different factors can go on, especially with this virus going on right now. Um, you know, a lot of basketball players have been, you know, cut off the job, if you want to say, or, uh, you know, they aren't allowed to play basketball, so it's going to mess up their draft stock. It's going to mess up a lot of these guys work to see a championship. They're so hyped up to finally get to the NCAA championship. This virus has shut it down. Um, they need to be given some type of compensation for their time. The NCAA needs to stop profit, profiting off young men, off young women, uh, all above. They're just a corrupt organization. And something needs to be done about it. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, that's the end of the video.